it's uh, early December here and bright. Well, not today. <laughs> kind of cool and very overcast today here in Southern California. We have a beautiful little, uh, looks like a uh, sun flare here. Rose bush and it's just absolutely covered in aphids. Been walking by this the last few days. It's right next to my office. There's a little bank uh, rose planter bed here. And unfortunately my video camera isn't the greatest. I make do with what I have at the moment. But if you notice you'll see a whole bunch of little white bodies on this plant. These are not white flies but aphids that have been juiced by a predator. A predator like a ladybug or a lacewing has been working feverishly on this plant to uh, chew, these, chew into these aphids and basically suck the juice right out of them. You can see there's green aphids with wings on them. When you s aphids come in many different colors. As again, these ones are green. It's a beautiful uh, hybrid tea with that. You see right on the blossom here. Again, even the rose blossom petals itself have aphids getting juice. Uh, flower petal is nothing more than a specialized leaf as far as the plant's concerned. And what you really notice is that it looks like someone turned the sprinklers on and has covered this plant in um, sprinkler water, but actually it's um, all the poop, all the crap from the aphids has been dripping down from the upper leaves so much it looks like water but it's really just this big sticky mass just really heavy amount of aphid poop almost glue like if it was a little bit warmer this would have already turned black it turns black because an airborne mold called city mold reacts with the honeydew and uh, grows in there and turns it black. So you have all this residue. This aphid problem is being somewhat caught up by nature, but what we're going to do is we're going to release a package of ladybugs I harvested and watch them how they watch on how they feed on here so I'm gonna put that out right now we'll come back at the end of the day and see them how well they're feeding we usually ship our ladybugs in the warm periods of the year and these nice uh, cloth bags they breathe real easy you can just open it up especially when it's really cold out like this and uh, sprinkle them all over the plant Another good way to do this is frankly put them at the bottom of the plants and let them walk up. Ladybugs when they're really cold don't move a whole lot. It takes a little while for them to wake up. Then knock them off the tops of the bag here and so we've got a few guys starting to walk around in that sticky honeydew 
and we'll come back here in a few hours see they fall on there still kind of cool gonna fall on their backs and write themselves up like little turtles